Hi, I'm Gordon Coyle, and today we're going to answer the question, what is the workers' compensation insurance rating modifier? The workers' comp experience rating mod, sometimes called the mod or the e-mod, can be confusing, so I thought it would make sense to just spend a few minutes to talk about what it is and why it actually, and why it actually exists. First, the mod is a rather complex mathematical calculation based on a number of different factors, but it's primarily driven by two different factors per employer. Every employer has a unique mod based on their particular uh, drivers, and the two drivers for every employer that go into the calculation are uh, payroll and claims. So the loss experience, the claims for the employer over a three-year period of time, and their actual payroll by classification go into this calculation to develop a mod. Now many employers think that their insurance company develops what their mod is, but that's not true. Uh, the mod is promulgated, that's the word for development, uh, the mod is promulgated by either a state agency or a national agency. So there are 16 different um, uh, states that have their own rating boards. Uh, New York and New Jersey are two that have their own uh, state boards. In New York, we call it the New York Compensation Insurance Rating Board. And the 34 remaining states participate in something called the NCCI, which is the National Council on Compensation Insurance. Now, whether it's a state mod or a uh, national mod doesn't matter. They follow the same sort of calculation process. There's a, maybe a, a little tweak of a difference between them, but they pretty much are very similar and, and yield the same results. Now, for employers with um, payroll in multiple states or across the country, you may see a combination of mods in your workers' comp policy. You may see, for example, a, um, a California state mod uh, development, and you may see the NCCI mod development. So um, you just have to be careful of, of what you're looking at because they can be different numbers because it's based on that state's uh, particular experience. Now, the mod is expressed as a rating value. It could be, you know, on a low side, let's say a 0.65 or a 0.70, which is a credit modifier, or it could be uh, 2.0 or higher, which would be a debit modifier. And how it's used is that rating value is multiplied by your premium to result in what the modified premium is. Now let me just take a step back and say that if your premium is below $3,500 in most states, you're not going to qualify for an experience rating mod. At that level, the numbers aren't credible enough. So no mod is applied to policies at that level or lower, depending on the state. So I mentioned how uh, the mod is a rating factor, and let's just use an example. Let's say that your base premium is $100,000. After you take the rates times your payroll by class and you total it up, uh, the base premium is $100,000. Now, if your modifier is a .80, that means you pay $80,000. You got a slight discount. But if your mod was, let's say, a 1.2, you'd have a debit modifier and, you end up, and you'd end up paying a premium of $120,000. That's why the mod becomes a very serious calculation or uh, issue to deal with when it comes to workers' comp because once the mod starts to creep up to account for the losses that may be in your historical background, it can get very expensive. Comp is expensive to begin with. Having a bad mod doesn't really help. So I get a lot of questions. Why even have a mod? And that's a good question. And the answer is, is that mods add a level of parity or fairness into the workers' compensation rating system. There's no other way to account for differences between employers and their loss experience in, in workers' comp rating. So let's use an example. Let's say you have two employers uh, in the same business and they have the same payroll. So they're very, very similar, except one employer has 15 claims during the year, uh, over three years, I'm sorry, and the other one has two claims over the three-year rating period. Now, it really wouldn't be fair to charge the same premium for, this, for those two different employers because they have such different uh, loss characteristics. Employer number one with 15 claims technically should pay more than, than the safer employer with only two claims. So that's what I mean by adding a level of fairness and parity into the system. One important point I want to make is that not all claims are created equal, and not all claims weigh on the mod the same way. Let's take those same two employers we just talked about. 
employer number one with 15 claims, each of those claims, let's say, were small. They were under $1,000. And over three years, their insurance company paid out less than $10,000. Employer number two had two claims that were $15,000 each, so a bit larger. And they paid out, their insurance company paid out $30,000. So you might be thinking, well, company number two, their insurance company paid out three times as much, so their mod's going to be higher. But the simple fact is, is that it's not so simple. It, it could be that employer number one's mod is actually higher because of the way the modifier calculation works. It's weighed more heavily towards um, penalizing, if you will, frequency versus severity. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds because it is very complicated and it would take me three or four days to fully explain it. But just understand that different losses will impact different employers in different fashions. So that's why it really is important to educate yourself as to how the mod works and how uh, the forecasting of it could work. So that's a little bit about the mod, how it works, and why it's actually in existence. I hope I answered your questions on this. If there's something else I didn't cover and you'd like to ask, feel free to drop me an email or give me a call. My contact info is at the tail end of this video. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks very much. And if you have a comment you'd like to leave, please leave it below. Thanks.